welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today's webinar in the topic of Rebels. Uh, let me quickly show you the agenda of, of our session today. First, uh, we will talk about a little bit about ourselves, Multisoft. Uh, then uh, my colleague Tomáš will introduce uh, Rebels and uh, position it. Uh, later, I will uh, demonstrate you some uh, features, quickly, just the interesting ones, and uh, I will talk about, uh, about the uh, licensing. And at the end of the session, we will have a question and answer session where you can ask us, let's say, anything. Okay, the presenters today, uh, let me introduce you to Tomáš Varga. He is our marketing manager and as I mentioned, he will talk about uh, how we intend to position uh, Rebels and he will bring you some uh, very interesting examples. Uh, and I'm Bertel Anoid, your sales manager and your partner contact. Let's go on. So as uh, we are beginning, let's say, all the online activities recently this way, uh, I would like to start today with a short alignment too. Uh, you mostly know us because of our mobile solution for Dynamics NAV and Business Central, which is called Mobile NAV. And uh, that's all right because we love uh, Mobile NAV, but uh, we would like to change this image of us from the mobile nav guys to Multisoft Innovative Solutions because uh, Multisoft is the company behind Mobile Navy. And uh, as of last year, we have started developing several ISV add on solutions for uh, Business Central and the Dynamics and Navy. So this approach follows uh, Microsoft's new idea of extending uh, the base functionality with applications uh, and not with unique solutions tailored to each customers. And uh, since we have now more than eight years of experience in the ISV program uh, of Microsoft, this is a very uh, good opportunity that we couldn't miss. Our solutions are BC SaaS compatible, uh, but of course, all of them can be implemented in an on-premise uh, perpetual or subscription access environment as well. Uh, and all I'm trying to say now is that uh, from now on, we will rather introduce ourselves as uh, multi-soft innovative solutions. But of course, we will continue to develop uh, mobile NAV and uh, as well as, uh, uh, as our other uh, ISV applications. So as a recap, let me show you quickly some of uh, our already available products. Uh, most of you guys uh, already know Mobile NAV, which is a universal, uh, customizable, uh, offline and online capable mobile solution for every platform. Uh, it is available for uh, NAV 2009 to the latest Business Central versions, including the SaaS version. Uh, and this was the first product that we have started to develop in 2012. Um, we, uh, we sell this mobile NAV uh, solution of ours through our partner network. Uh, and uh, we can say that it is a success story because we have uh, more than 200 partners in 80 countries and uh, more than 8,000 uh, end users. Uh, use uh, our mobile application. Based on mobile NAV, we have made uh, further solutions, more focused on a special area. The first one is uh, VMS mobile NAV, uh, which focuses on, on the warehouse management, uh, barcode reading, smart scanning, and so on. Uh, we have also uh, created uh, a field service solution based on mobile navy and we call this uh, Servotion. Uh, we have integrated Servotion with uh, Dime Visual Scheduler. Uh, we have created an automatic uh, resource allocator, uh, a customer portal, uh, a checklist function and uh, a lot more useful functions for field service expert. 
Our third product uh, today is an advanced localization package. We call it HEP. This is the Hungarian Extension Packages abbreviation. It is compatible with uh, a standard W1 uh, Dynamics and AV or BC database, uh, and it complies with uh, the local regulations. And further, it contains the translations of the captions and tooltips. Um, we are developing localization since we have entered the market uh, here in Hungary. I believe it was in 2000. So, yeah, we have customers uh, since 2000 uh, in, in our domestic market uh, and uh, we, we create uh, this Hungarian uh, extension package since uh, then. Uh, so, all I'm trying to say is that um, if you guys have any clients who has a subsidiary in Hungary uh, and they need local services or local support, you can contact us and uh, I'm sure we will be able to help you out. And our most recently published ISV application is uh, MDSync. The name comes from Master Data Synchronization. As it is a talking name, the solution helps you to synchronize data between companies in the same database. Uh, but uh, we are planning to extend the functionality to uh, make it possible to uh, have a synchronization between databases, but it's the sound of the future. Currently, you can define what kind of tables uh, would you like to see in, uh, sync in between what companies. Um, and uh, if you are interested uh, in MD sync and the, in how this works, uh, you can uh, find the latest uh, webinar of ours uh, in this topic on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you should look for Multisoft Innovative Solutions. Now, uh, let's jump back to today's topic. Uh, my colleague Tomás is going to talk about uh, the positioning of Rebels. And later I'm going to quickly show you some, some of the most uh, interesting features. So Tomás, uh, if you are ready, then let me hand you over the virtual microphone. Thank you, Berti. Uh, welcome, everyone. I hope you can hear, hear me well. I would like to talk a little bit about the changes, which I'm sure you can see around you. Uh, there is a trend today that companies from uh, more and more segments are moving to subscription-based business models. I mean, not only software or service providers, but also some companies with physical products tend to turn there. Uh, I've got a few examples here as well. The first one is uh, Beercase, which offers a beer providing subscription, which actually a pack of beer every month at, at your door, doorstep until the cancellation of your subscription. So you get a, a big box of beer uh, and you pay every month a certain amount of money for that and, and uh, they de deliver you this uh, box as well. The second uh, solution I've got here is uh, iPhone subscription. It means that you will never own your iPhone, but until the end of the, your subscription, you will always be able to use the newest model of it. Uh, it's kind of like uh, infrastructure as a service model. Uh, with you can follow the iPhone evolution, so you will always have the fanciest uh, iPhone you can have at the time. And our uh, last but not least uh, example is the Dollar Shave Club. If you join the club, they will send you a facial care product every given period. Uh, you can also choose from uh, different packages as well. Uh, so you can always keep your baby face or your favorite beard in uh, its best shape. So uh, what is the common thing uh, between those companies? Uh, since they are all offering some kind of subscriptions, they have to spend a lot of time and effort to generate yearly, monthly, weekly, or even daily invoices, which are created from the same contract. However, most of the data of those invoices are the same. I bet since a big part of uh, our audience came, uh, came from the IT service field, uh, a lot of you can see how much extra work that kind of invo invoicing can take. And it's so inefficient, I think, to spend that many time with that. I mean, uh, we used to feel that as well. 
then we have created Rebus to solve our problem. And uh, now Rebus is able to store all those contracts in one place and it's able to uh, send the invoices from time to time. And that period can be literally uh, anything from daily invoicing to generating an invoice uh, in every, let's say, three and a half months or something. You can just uh, put the da your data into Rebus and, and it will uh, create the sales orders for you. <clears throat> Once you've set up the contract, as I said, uh, it sends all the invoices and it, it uh, sends them uh, until the termination. So you can use your time to focus on more, uh, much more important things. All in all, I think Rebels can be a good solution for partners and end users as well uh, from many fields. They are listed in the, in the screen. Uh, those can be uh, any kind of subscriptions, which I mentioned before. It can be licensing, like uh, IT services, uh, maintenance, like repairing uh, services, or publishing, like uh, newspapers or any online content providers. Uh, it can be used for contractual services or contractual reviews and qualifications or rental and general services, so, and many, many more. So uh, the list is endless, actually. It can be used for basically anyone who has business central tenant and uh, whose business requires any kind of periodic invoicing. Since you all know what is the idea behind Rebus and which are the common areas of use, I will ask Berti to show us a few user cases so you can see uh, our add-on in action. This should be just an appetizer for you. Uh, we don't intend to show you the full set of features, just to let you sh see what Rebus can do. So Berti, please uh, show us how Rebus works. Wow, uh, those were some uh, very interesting examples. Uh, my personal favorite was the baby face, to be honest. It was quite funny. Uh, thanks for that. So now let's see how really Rebels works. Today we are not going into deep details uh, of the functionality because as Tomasz mentioned correctly, it is just an appetizer for you. So I will just show you some typical user cases uh, let me quickly show you what we have developed into the application and uh, I will open the Rebels main menu from Business Central. Here we go. Uh, we can uh, do all the settings here in the setup menu and we can reach the important features like contracts and history. Uh, we have done some modifications in the standard uh, system as well, uh, like uh, we have done a few extra features on, on, on the item card. I will go to the item card. I will select uh, an item. And uh, if I scroll down, we can see that we have a recurring billing tab here. Uh, where you can uh, set the default invoice period uh, of this item or if this item has uh, let's say an annual maintenance you can set the percentage you can link the maintenance item to this item uh, and you can define whether you would like to calculate the maintenance fee based on the sales price or uh, the list price by switching uh, between maintenance by sales value or not. And later I will show you how we can create a contract uh, with, uh, with an item that has maintenance. And you, you will see how this works. Let's say we have a new entity to show you that I have to jump to the customer card. Uh, we have the new entity, we call this uh, the end user. We can, uh, we can assign uh, any amount of end users to, to a customer. And of course, you can, you can select multiple end users to each uh, customers. Uh, let's check out the customer because we have uh, further improvements on the customer card too. We have this uh, little switch we call combine orders. And it means uh, that all contracts, uh, if you check this field uh, into green, uh, it will mean that uh, 
all, all the contracts assigned to this uh, client will put together into one single contract, uh, one single invoice. Uh, or if you leave this combine orders uh, option off, then uh, the bills could be uh, created uh, separately. Of course, we have done some uh, further developments, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, I don't want to be this webinar too technical. So let me show you some uh, nice functions. Uh, first, uh, let's see how we can create a contract by jumping back to the Rebels main menu. Uh, and clicking on the contract tile, uh, we can see the, uh, all the contracts uh, in, in our system. The contract uh, is the soul of uh, our solution because everything is built around the contracts entity. And uh, at the end of the process, we will generate the sales orders based on the contracts and uh, the settings of the contracts will define every aspect of, of the invoices. So I will now create a new contract by clicking on the new. First, I have to select a customer. Any of, uh, any of them will do, do the trick. Um, and uh, if I scroll down, I will uh, register an item that has a maintenance assigned to it. I know that uh, Mobile Navy has a maintenance. And if I selected the uh, item, the uh, second line will be automatically added. And this is the uh, maintenance of the first line. Um, we must fill the quantity first. Let's say we will sell five pieces of Mobile Navy. Okay, and now we have to fill the next invoice period which will be the 1st of April because our current work date is the 6th of uh, April. Okay, now we see that uh, the maintenance dates are automatically uh, updated. We have to add the license value now because uh, it is zero since it can be different uh, from uh, the line value because the actual sales price can be different uh, from the uh, list price, which is uh, the line value. Uh, but in this case, uh, it should be the same. So I will just type in uh, 3000. And uh, if I have uh, filled out the license value, I can see that uh, the maintenance field is automatically calculated based on this uh, license value. So if we want to finalize the contract, all that's left to do is to sign it by clicking on uh, the release sign contract button. And uh, after we have signed the contract and, uh, and the lines uh, on the contract can be invoiced, the lines turns uh, this greenish bluish uh, color Okay, so the next step is uh, to create a sales order by clicking on process, create orders. I will select yes because I would like to create the orders. Uh, now the sales order is uh, has been created, and I can see at the end of uh, end of the lines that uh, I have uh, I have the order I'm posted to date by clicking on. <clears throat> the three dots, uh, I can access the history of the unposted sales orders, where I can open this uh, uh, the sales order directly from by clicking on the S or number. So now the sales order card opens up and I can see that uh, all the contract lines are here. Uh, and if I wish, I can proceed to complete the process by uh, posting it and uh, creating the invoice. Okay, now I will just show you how we can create mass orders by jumping back to the contract. Uh, I have prepared a few contracts to show you this feature. We can see that Relic Cloud has, uh, has three contracts. And if we go to the customer card of Relic Cloud, uh, we can see that uh, the combine order option is uh, on. 
now we can go back to the contracts and select uh, all the contracts by clicking the three dots next to a contract number and choosing the select more and the select all uh, feature. Uh, before I press uh, create orders, let, let me quickly jump back to the sales order list and uh, show you that uh, I don't have any sales orders yet. Just this uh, one I tried to post uh, recently. We can create all the orders by uh, clicking on process, and create orders right here, yes. So we had eight contracts, but Rela Cloud had the combine orders option on with three contracts, that means uh, we should see six orders generated and that's exactly what we are seeing, seeing here right now. So let's check it out. Let's uh, jump back to the sales orders. And here we can see all the orders that we have uh, recently created. Let's open up the Rela Clouds one and uh, here we should see that uh, all three uh, contracts are merged into one single collective invoice. We have the option to add the custom comments to the contracts and uh, we, we have added uh, the contract number here. But further, we can uh, add here the invoice period or the end user's name and, uh, and further as well. So when the sales order is created, we can see the comments in the lines. Okay, and uh, we can set up these uh, comments uh, on the item cards of, of uh, each item. So if we find everything all right, uh, we can uh, post this uh, order, but now I'm going to show you something else. It is another scenario that uh, we need to temporarily suspend or permanently cancel a contract. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, let's just open up a contract card and we have a status field here, this active status. Uh, if it's active, the contract is live, but if we want to suspend it, not forever, uh, but for a finite period of time, we can click on the field uh, to deactivate it. Okay, that's one scenario, but uh, what if we want to cancel the contract uh, permanently? We can select the cancel reason code. The cancel reason codes uh, can be set up in the main menu of uh, Rebels. Uh, these reasons can be unique and uh, you can choose uh, whichever reason codes you want. And uh, if you would like to permanently cancel the contract, you have to uh, click on release and cancel contract. Okay, so this way the contract will be terminated forever. Now these are, I believe, the most important features of Rebels, uh, but of course we have other nice features such as modifying the invoice period length uh, and the Rebels automatically will be able to calculate the fee for the fracture period and uh, hoping an already posted sales order to automatically generate the contract lines in order to modify, for example, the amount of the previous order. And uh, you can pull, post uh, even multiple uh, sales orders. We call this uh, function the batch posting, so you don't have to manually post uh, each sales orders one by one, but uh, uh, similarly, when we have created uh, the multiple sales orders, you can uh, post all, all the uh, only sales orders and create all the invoices too. Yeah, that's it. Now uh, let's talk a bit about uh, licensing. We have created uh, three packages. The first one is uh, the freemium one. Uh, if you would like to try Rebels out, you have the chance to use Rebels up to five contracts and uh, it has no time limit. The second option to try out Rebels is uh, that we can grant you a 30 days trial period 
and uh, in this case you you won't have the five contract uh, limitation but uh, you will have uh, a time limitation in, in 30 days uh, the second uh, package is uh, designed for partners uh, it is a special offer uh, you you will have a yearly and monthly subscription and uh, above a certain partner level we will have a, a much more favorable offer for our partners but so if you are a partner and you are interested in Rebius, please let us know uh, and uh, let's see how we can uh, uh, do a cooperation. And uh, of course, we have a, a package for end users as well, monthly and yearly subscriptions. Uh, we have designed three packages. The first is the squad package. It contains uh, 15 contracts. Uh, the Platinum package has uh, 50 contracts limitation and the company package has up to 150 contracts. And of course, uh, if you have a higher amount of contracts, uh, you can request a quote for, uh, from us and uh, we sure will have the uh, right solution for you. And uh, one thing is uh, very important that uh, the Business Central Essentials license is uh, eligible uh, to use Rebius. You don't need the premium uh, license. Uh, we have one last slide here. We have created a multi soft innovative solutions LinkedIn uh, page where you can stay up to date regarding our latest activities, mostly focusing on the ISV solutions, but not exclusively. Uh, further, we, uh, we have a dedicated partner portal for uh, ISV partners. Uh, it is uh, partner.multisoft.hu. Uh, you can find uh, the latest information of, uh, of our products, uh, such as Rebius, uh, MD Sync. Uh, mobile and AV, Servo Ocean, uh, localization, and so on. And uh, we have created a partner SharePoint site. Uh, we have uploaded all the marketing and sales materials. And uh, if you would like to have access to, to this uh, partner site, please uh, let us know and we will send you the invitation as soon as possible. So just uh, write us an email or, or let us know uh, in the comment section here uh, and we will send you the invitation to the uh, sales portal. And uh, here you can see where you can contact us. So thank you very much again uh, for joining us today. If you have further questions, you can contact us by email uh, and uh, we hope that we will see you at our next webinar again.